<clears throat> All right, so um, I'm going to do a quick review of, uh, well, not even a review, um, just talk about uh, a, a little bit about ashwagandha, which uh, I got in nature's way, but uh, I haven't, <clears throat> It's this is a decent brand, um, but I, I haven't really done enough to tell you what brand to get, but anyway, um, ashwagandha is a it's it's a pretty um it's kind of like a staple supplement it's like the type of thing that's pretty safe and you can take it uh for quite a quite a while i mean i, I don't think there's anything that i would tell you to take this indefinitely except well with the exception of like maybe in like a nutritional supplement that you're taking but anything like herbal or like an actual drug or whatever i would i would suggest uh cycling it or something but in any case um ashwagandha is something that you can use um it's at the higher end of things that you can you can use it for like you know a few months probably without a problem um anyway uh about ashwagandha so it's um i've heard a lot of effects like i my me personally the the big thing is is it has it has certain aphrodisiac qualities. However, um, <clears throat> I should specify what I mean by this because it, it doesn't just give you a hard on, you know. Like it, um, there's two main components to this. One of the components is a perceptual one, meaning um, I guess the way I would describe it is that it, it helps me to perceive girls in a more sexual way. And uh, there's uh, also a component that is, um, I don't know, it feels like maybe it's like my blood flow or something, but uh, I get a feeling of vitality down through my core and even into my uh, reproductive area, which is, uh, it, it feels good, but it's not like, like I said, you know, like it doesn't just like give you like, a hard on, but it kind of like I would say in in terms of being an aphrodisiac, it, it sort of like primes you more for that, or um, you know, and alongside this uh, this perceptual change, um, it has an interesting aphrodisiac effect, and I kind of like it because it's um, uh, like other things, like you know, like with cannabis sometimes, which just make me outrageously horny, and it's it's the type of thing that it's like a pressure that you just got to. Do. Like, it's not really useful. Like, you just want to, like, relieve the pressure as fast as you can. So you just like, relieve it yourself, basically, to put it. But this, this is actually, uh, for me, um, it's a little bit more controlled. It's more, like, easier to focus outwards and, like, you know, do something productive with it. Like, you know, use that and, like, uh, you know go actually like talk to girls you know like <laughs> so I mean, anyway that the aphrodisiac qualities are the best now i guess like there you know there's been a lot of research done on ashwagandha and i think one of the more let's see it, it is an anti-inflammatory so that's one of the more um i would say important effects um and an anti-arthritic um, and it's got, it's it had a few, it's had a few things attributed to it. I, I don't know, um, apparently it's good for helping you to grow new dendrites. I think it, um, it's also it's supposed to be good as a, a general cognitive enhancer. I'm not 100% sure what all its mechanisms of action are, what it's supposed to do. But for me, the, the most salient effect were these interesting aphrodisiac ones. Now, um, <clears throat> how do I take ashwagandha? Well, I take ashwagandha, I, I don't take it on a regular basis, although you could. Um, and that I, I don't know, the, the thing is, I, I don't know, like, how the effects might change. Like, for me, one of the things that people talk about in the forums is that it's a good anxiolytic. And for me, it doesn't seem to be a great anxiolytic. Uh, I don't know, maybe this is something you have to take for a longer period of time to kick in. I, I really haven't noticed that. It's fine. I don't have huge problems with anxiety anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, the uh, so I mean I like just for how it makes me feel, it's worth it. Um, I like the feeling. I don't know if it actually hel actually helps me perform better uh, athletically, uh, physically, but I um, 
it kind of gives me a feeling of vitality, but I don't know the, the general vitality that I talked about earlier as part of the aphrodisiac effects. I don't know. It doesn't even necessarily make, I don't know. Uh, it, it does make me feel good, but it, I'd have to do more more research, more personal experimenting to tell you how it actually makes me perform in other ways. But cognitively and physically, um, it's supposed to be um, kind of like ginseng in a way. It's actually called Indian ginseng. It's one of its names. I don't know. Apparently it's one of those. I never actually hear anybody call it that, but uh, I guess it's maybe like a regional thing, like not around here, like even in this part of the world, but maybe somewhere else they call it that. I don't know. Um, do I recommend it though? Yeah, I do. And uh, not just for me, but for like what other people have said too. Like, I mean, for most people, it does seem to be an anxiolytic. In fact, um, pretty potent. Like, um, people say they only take it like closer to bed because it like knocks them out. And um, yeah, it doesn't actually really make me tired either. So I don't know. Like, everybody reacts to stuff different. And like I said, you know, I'm. I actually should try taking it for a longer period of time. Uh, I could always make another video and um, report on how that goes. But um, yeah, ashwagandha. I, I, I recommend it. That's how it works for me. Um, so uh, there you go.